welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video so as you can tell by the title today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a simple YouTube intro on your laptop using the app Canva if you haven't already heard of Canva Canva is an app that you can use to create flyers create gap graphics and of course create YouTube videos so that's what we are going to be doing today and Canva is free, but you can also subscribe to Canva and get a membership for, I believe it's $12 a month. And you can, of course, access different um, animations, different, just different things within Canva, different fonts that you don't get for free, obviously. So I do have um, Canva Pro, which is the updated, which is the subscription for Canva. So, but you can also do this for free. So I'll be showing you how to make this intro right here. Let me play it. Something simple, it has your name and your Instagram, all these different things on there. So I'll be teaching you guys how to make this intro today. If that is something you are interested in, in learning how to do, please continue to watch this tutorial. I'm so happy I figured out how to do this because I was looking for someone to make my intro and I ended up just learning how to do it myself on Canva for free. So um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So we're going to start on the homepage of Canva and you're gonna go up here to the search bar and you're gonna put in YouTube channel art. And that first one will pop up and you're gonna go ahead and click that. I'm already on it, so that's why it came up like that. So this is what it will come up. So you're just gonna go ahead and click the blank. So, of course you can do this depending on what kind of color you want, what kind of font you want, but I'm gonna go, go ahead and remake this one that I already showed you. And yeah, because that's how I want mine to look like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remake this. And of course you can change the colors to fit your channel. So the first thing we are going to do is change the background of this page. Um, I'm just going to use a color, just a light pink color. And you're gonna come over here and just choose your color. This is the color I want for my background. So you can go ahead and choose your background color. Go to text and we're gonna search glow. After, once you search glow, you're gonna go ahead and click this glow right here and go ahead and type in your username. Mine is Pamela. CEO, and then we're going to go ahead and change the size of it and put it in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and come to this sparkle right here and click that. And I'm going to, to retype Pamela the CEO. And change the size again. And I'm going to move it. A lot of people put this like in the middle right here. Uh, I'm going to leave mine in the middle right there this time. And I'm going to change it to white. I don't know if mine looks good right there. I think I like mine down here actually. So yeah, I'm going to center it and go ahead and put, place it right under my first one. Depending on what your name looks like, if it's not as long, if it's something shorter, it might look better in the middle there. And this is the font Moon Time, just in case you wanted to know that, that it's Moon Time. You have all these different fonts you can choose, but I like Moon Time, so I just use Moon Time for mine. And then we're gonna go here back to text, and we're going to add a subheading. And with the subheading, um, this is optional. I have three things that my channel are about, which is fashion, entrepreneurship, and lifestyle. So I am going to, I'm going to place it in the middle again, and we're going to change the font of that to big shoulders display and make it a little bit bigger and probably space it out a little using this. Again, this is all free. Like I made all this free so far. 
and then again put this in the middle and change the color of that mm, maybe this hot pink yes I'm gonna go ahead and change it to this hot pink and so the good the next part I am going to take a photo of myself I'm going to go ahead and use hmm, this photo of myself so you're gonna go ahead and this is the um, one of the best features I think Canva has so you're gonna go ahead and take this photo of yourself and go to effects over here up here is where you find effects you're gonna come over here to background remover and you're gonna go ahead and remove the background of this photo so that it is just you all you have to do is one click and it's gonna go ahead and remove the background okay perfect so I'm only gonna use one if you want to you can put two um, photos of yourself on here I'm just gonna use this one for today and I'm gonna stick it right here and what I'm going to do is go up here to position and I'm going to send it backwards so it is behind the words I'm gonna send it backwards a few times here So now, so now I am behind the words and I'm not blocking anything. I'll probably put it off to the side so you can see my outfit a little bit more. And that is what it looks like. So the last step is to, so the last step is to animate the, this photo here. So you can go to animate up here and they do have some pro options down here where you do have to have, um, Pay, you, have, you do have to pay for Canva in order to get these. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just use the free ones for today for this video. I'm going to, hmm, let's see, which one do I want to use? I'm going to use Tumble. So this is what the first part, part of your intro will look like. So this is the first part. I'm going to go ahead and add a new page. And I'm going to go to Elements over here on the side. And I'm going to search for iPhone. And I'm going to take this free. I, this is another free item. So I'm going to take this iPhone. And what you want to do, you're going to want to go on your Instagram and screen record. Screen record you scrolling on your own Instagram and liking your photos. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. I already have one that I did for myself. And I'm going to take that video and pull it into this iPhone here. So this is my personal Instagram account with that I screen recorded on my iPhone and I just liked my own photos and that's all I did pretty much. So I want to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to go back to text over here. It doesn't have to be this long. You can change the, um, the length of this video. I'm going to shorten it a little bit because it is kind of long. I'm just going to shorten mine down to, what, seven, maybe, yeah, seven seconds. So it's not going on for too long. And I'm going to come over here back to the glow. And I'm going to use sparkle one more time just because I love the moon time font. And I'm going to put connect with me. I'm going to change the color of that to hot pink. I'm going to come over here to elements and search Instagram. And that gives you the Instagram logo. So if you have an Instagram, a Twitter, a TikTok, whatever you have, it should have TikTok here as well. Yeah, so it has all the logos you need. And you're just going to go ahead and put the logo here and add another text i'm just going to use i'm going to use sparkle one more time and just change the text and put your at name here this can be any font you want so play with the fonts and see what you like i'm going to change that font and make it a little bit smaller so it fits right there Perfect, and I'm going to change the color to black. We don't need, I don't need that um, 
glow. So I'm going to take the glow off. You just go to effects up here and you change it to none to take that glow off. And I'm going to go ahead and align it and make it a little bit smaller so it doesn't look crazy. And I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. And then you're going to come back to elements and type in subscribe to get that subscribe button. And you can choose whichever one you want. These are, I believe you do have to pay for these. All of these do have the pro on them. Oh, here's a free one right here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a free one for the sake of this video. Just in case you do not have a subscription to Canva, there are free options for you. So you can pretty much make this whole thing for free. So I'm going to go ahead and change the size of that subscribe button. And type in arrow. Well, actually, I'll type in click, actually. And it will give you all these different arrows. So I'm going to use this one, another free one. I'm going to change the size. and make it look like it's clicking on that subscribe button so that when people see it, it looks like it's telling you to subscribe. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this a little bit closer. And so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to animate this. So this one's already animated, I put it on Tumble. And that is pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and play the whole thing and you guys can see what this intro looks like. And that is it. So that is how you make a YouTube intro on Canva, which is, the last thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and download this as an MP4 video and save it to your computer. I'm not gonna save this one because I already have one. Just gonna save this video as an MP4 and plug it into your videos before you start your um, YouTube video, plug it in as an intro, and you can go and choose whatever song you want to go over it while you're editing your video. So I hope this helps someone. It definitely helped me. I'm so happy I figured out how to create this YouTube intro. I hope this helped you. Let me know down in the comments if this helped you create your own YouTube intro. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys like this video. And of course, leave me some comments down below if you like this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.